I want to bring in now the mayor of Mobile, Alabama, Sandy Stimson. Sandy, thank you for taking okay. time out of preparations for this to be with us this morning. It's good to be here this morning. Thank you. So this storm is moving very slow. It's expected to make landfall as a strong category one. Tons of rain. You've got no warning of these life threatening flash floods. Talk to me about whether people in your area are heeding the warnings to evacuate if they need to and uh, to prepare as necessary. My impression right now is that our citizens are listening. They've taken preparations. Uh, we're prepared from a first responder standpoint. So we feel as good as you can possibly feel at this stage of a storm. Your coast is obviously no stranger to hurricanes. Tell me what your biggest concern is as we speak here just after 10 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. So, you know, flash flooding and the tidal surge are really the biggest concerns. Uh, we are a, tr a city that has a lot of live oak trees. And when you have a slow moving storm with a lot of rain, mm -hmm. you have soft ground. And so we're going to have a lot of trees uprooted, uh, which will block the roadways. But uh, we have, if you can see on the camera behind me, uh, 12,000 live feeds of almost every part of our city. So in real time, we know where trees are falling. We know where floods are occurring. And so we can respond quickly. Talk to me about the storm surge, because Mobile Bay could see a storm surge of maybe six to nine feet, depending on how this thing goes. Are you prepared for something like that? Yes, you know, over the last uh, decade or so, uh, preparations uh, have been made through uh, different FEMA projects uh, and also through uh, flood, flood pro projects. So we know where our vulnerability is. And so we deploy sandbags, we evacuate those areas. And so Again, we should be in pretty good shape, assuming the citizens, you know, actually do what uh, what they're asked to do. And that is the big question, of course. You said that you are fairly confident people are doing what they're being asked to do, especially, I would imagine, when it comes to the risk of flash flooding, because that seems to be like one of the biggest concerns moving forward for your area. You know, absolutely, because when somebody decides they're going to stay in a flood flown area, that means, you know, when the flood comes, they can't evacuate. We have to send in emergency responders who then uh, their lives are possibly at risk. And so that's why there's so much emphasis put on evacuate if you are in a flood, flood, flood prone area. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.